Hello friends, welcome to Texta Diesel. In this video, we will make a very useful LoRa project where you can control 4 appliances from 4 to 5 km away without using any internet Bluetooth connection. And you can also monitor the real-time feedback of all the appliances on a OLED in the transmitting end. And during the video, I will share the complete circuit, source code, so you can easily make this project after watching the complete video. As you can see, this is the transmitting end LoRa circuit, here I have used Node MCU. Although I have used the PCB, but you can easily make this circuit on a zero PCB or breadboard. I will share the complete circuit during the video. Now this is the receiving end LoRa circuit, so whenever I press this button, LoRa send the signal to the receiving end LoRa module and Arduino will turn on and off these lamps and I can also control these lamps from this switch and monitor the real-time feedback on this OLED. Let me show you how this project works. In the OLED you can see all the appliances are off now. Now let me press the first button and you can see the first lamp turns on and I can also monitor the real-time feedback on is written here on the OLED which indicate the first appliances turned on. Now if I press the second button you can see the second lamp turns on and I can monitor the real-time feedback on the OLED. Now I can also control these appliances or lamp from the manual switch. Let me turn on the third and fourth lamp from the manual switch and to see the real-time status you can always press the status button so it will request the status from the receiving end and you can see it received the status currently all the lamp turns on and i have also used eep rom memory of the adreno now let me turn off the complete supply you can see i have turned off the supply of the adreno now adreno don't have any supply now if i turn on the supply again the four lamp will automatically turn on it will face the previous state from the eep rom memory and the lamp or appliances will turn on accordingly so this is a very useful project you can easily make it now without wasting any time let's make it for this project i have used the reacts rylr998 lora module you can easily control this lora module with some basic at commands which we will discuss during the video and you can also find a purchase link of this lora module in the video description this is the transmitter circuit. You can download the required component list from the video description. Here I have used a node MCU but you can use any other microcontroller. And these push buttons are connected across the GPIO pin and the ground pin. And these two register will act as a voltage divider to drop down 5 volt logic level to 3.3 volt for this Reax LoRa module. Now this is the receiving end LoRa module circuit and here I have used the Adreno Uno and again you can use any other microcontroller. These two registers will act as a voltage divider to drop down 5 volt logic level to 3.3 volt and these switches are connected across the digital pins and the ground pin and if you want to use push button then you can also connect the push button across the digital and ground pin. So the circuit part is very simple, you can easily make it, but still just to make the circuit compact, I have used the PCB for the transmitter and LoRa circuit. So if you want to get this PCB, then download the Garver file from the video description and order it from the JLC PCB. In JLC PCB, you can also use their PCB assembly service absolutely free. Before making the payment for the SMT service, you just have to add this $9 coupon and you will get the PCB assembly service completely free. You just have to pay for the components. Recently, I have used their PCB assembly service. You can see I have made the circuit on the Easy EDA. You have to select this JLC PCB assemble. Then you will get all the component that you can use in their SMT service. After making the circuit, you can easily convert the circuit into a PCB. Now to use their PCB assembly service, you have to generate three files. You have to generate the PCB GABA file, then BOM file and at last pick and place file. Then visit the JLC PCB. You can find a link in the description. Then I will click on this quote now button. 
then you have to upload the GABA file after that I will scroll down now I want all the components should be shouldered on the top side of the PCB so I will select this now I have to upload the BOM file and pick and place file so here you have to confirm all the component that you want to use for the SMT service so you can see they are showing approx footprint and you will get all the details here after checking all this click on save to card and place the order and in my case i have received this pcb from jlc pcb within a week and as you can see the packing is really good and also the quality is very premium in this affordable price these are the source code for this lora project this is the code for the transmitter end and this is the code for the receiving end now for the transmitting end as i am using oled so you have to install this library then you have to define the band for the LoRa module here i have defined 865 MHz. you have to select the band according to the country then i have defined the network id 5 so you can see in the receiving end circuit also the band is 865 megahertz and network id 5 these two parameters should be same in transmitter and receiving end circuit and this is the address of the transmitting end LoRa module here I have defined address 1 for the transmitting end. For the receiving end LoRa module, the address is 2. Now this transmitting end LoRa module will communicate with a LoRa module having address 2. So here I have entered 2. And the receiving end LoRa module will communicate the LoRa module having address 1. So these are the LoRa module parameter you have to define. Apart from that, if you go through the code, you can easily understand. After uploading the code, I have connected the LoRa module with Arduino and relay module is connected with this three lamp. And in the transmitting end, I have connected the LoRa module with Node MCU. Now let me turn on the supply. Now we have to wait till the LED turns off. And for the Node MCU, we have to wait till the green LED turns off. Now you can see the current state of the relay in the OLED display. Now let me turn on the first relay and press the first button and you can see it is showing the first relay turns on in OLED. So this is a very useful LoRa project. You can control any appliances from 4 to 5 km away without any internet connection. And in future I will try to add Google Assistant Alexa with this LoRa project so that you can control the appliances from anywhere in the world with the combination of IoT and LoRa. To get the notification for that upcoming video please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and if you find this video helpful also give a thumbs up and I will really appreciate if you will support my work on Patreon you will find a link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.